Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's the next problem in R5, supplement A. 2x cubed plus 6x squared equals 8x plus 24. Now, the first thing we recognize in this equation is that it is degree 3. An equation of degree 3 is called a cubic equation. It's also called degree 3, but I want you to know the name cubic. I also want you to know that what the degree of an equation indicates to us is the maximum number of, of, of answers it's going to have. So in this case, we're guessing that it might have three answers. Okay? It's not going to have more than three. That's for sure. Okay? All right. When you're solving a cubic equation, the first thing you do is put it in standard form. So 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus 8x, we're changing signs, minus 24 is equal to 0. Okay? That's called standard form. The next thing I'm going to do is notice that everything is divisible by 2. So I am going to divide everything by 2 to make the numbers in my equation simpler. That's going to give me x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Anytime you see a number that an equation, that every term in an equation can be divided by, I think it's a smart idea to do it. Just makes things easier. Now, hopefully you're remembering the technique called factoring by grouping, which again is a review of Math 1033. When I group the first two terms, I can factor out an x squared in parens, leaving me with an x plus 3. When I group the next two terms, I can factor out a negative 4, also leaving me with an x plus 3. Notice this is a plus. Negative times positive is a negative, so it must be a plus. As I continue factoring, I pull out my GCF of x plus 3, and my other factor would then be x squared minus 4. And as I've taught you in class, you know, the rule is factor till you drop. So x plus 3 is done as far as factoring. x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares. So we have an x plus 2, and we have an x minus 2. So now notice that I have three factors multiplied together to give me 0. So what I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to write out either x plus 3 is 0 or x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 2 is 0. Those are the three possibilities, correct? Well, in the first possibility, x would be negative 3. There's my answer. In the second case, x would be a negative 2. And in the final case, x would be a positive 2. And it holds true that a cubic equation, which has degree 3, this is a typical cubic that has three answers. Okay, next problem. And let me get my paper in the right position for you. Okay. We have one-fourth, let me write it better, one-fourth x squared minus three-halves x minus seven-fourths is equal to zero. Now this is definitely a quadratic equation. It's degree two. But I don't want to deal with all these fractions. So I'm going to look at all these denominators, the four, the two, and the four, and a number that they will all go into, you know, that, you know, they just will make them all disappear is the number 4. So if I multiply this equation by 4, I'm going to say bam, 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 and bam. And by bam, I mean multiply by 4. The first term becomes x squared minus, look what happens to the next term. The 2 cancels into the 4 twice. 2 times 3 is 6, 6x. Six the 4's cancel, minus 7, and 0 times 4 is 0. Look what I have now, a very clean
quadratic equation. And in fact, it factors beautifully as x minus 7, quantity, and x plus 1, quantity. Very nice. So to finish, x minus 7 is 0, or x plus 1 is 0. In this first case, x is 7, and in the second case, x is equal to negative 1. And we're done.